Hey, Motor Man here. And I know you came to watch the review on the Kawasaki Vulcan. But before we get into that review, I'm going to give you a couple of tips, tricks, and techniques that's going to help you. I know so many people, even people who have been riding for 20 years, come to my class and they have the same problem coordinating the clutch and throttle. So I'm going to show you how it works and what you need to do to practice it. If you don't want to watch this tip, just fast forward and you get right into the review. Here Thanks. now for my tip of the week. You have to learn how to use that clutch and throttle. When I say learn to use it, I don't mean just take it off without stalling. Many people can do that. But for low speeds, to maintain control of the motorcycle, you got to find that gray area or that friction zone where the bike just starts to move. You want to let the throttle out just a little, or let the clutch out just a little bit further, feet a little throttle. Get your feet up on the pegs of the floorboards. Practice that slow race. You could put a little bit of pressure on the rear brake. Stay away from the front brake when making low speed turns or hit that front brake, it's gonna pull you to the ground like a magnet. Now once you get that, get used to using that friction zone. If I want a little more speed, I let it out ever so slightly. I don't have to increase the throttle. I don't know what RPMs I'm at. There's no tack here, but I'm guessing somewhere around a thousand RPMs. Just start turning. Turn big circles, both to the left and to the right. Get used to using that friction zone. You should be able to freely rev the motor without the bike picking up speed if you're in that sweet spot of the friction zone and that's where you need to be when making low speed turns. So give that a try folks and I don't care if you've been riding for a week or for 20 years, you need to learn this because most people don't. People come to my class, the average rider is riding 20 years and still is not familiar with using that friction zone and turning the motorcycle at the same time. So that's my tip. Learn to use that friction zone and turn your head and eyes and look only where you want to go. Hey, Motor Man here at Wesley Chapel Harley Davidson, and look what I found. This is a 2022 Kawasaki Vulcan 900 Custom. I've ridden these bikes before, but only at my class, and I know that they are very maneuverable, smooth motorcycles. They're asking $69.95 for this motorcycle. You can get a practically brand new, because 3,500 miles ain't nothing, practically brand new motorcycle, middleweight bike for $69.95 here at Wesley Chapel Harley Davidson. So I'm gonna take it for a ride and let you know how it feels. Now you do start to feel a little vibration in the hand grips and the foot pegs. As you give it throttle, that is nothing objectionable. Very easy motorcycle to ride and to get used to. Get on this bike, you feel like you've been riding it all your life. That's, that's the way so many Japanese motorcycles are. If you're uh, new to riding, maybe you just got out of uh, a beginner course and a little 250 they gave you at that course felt like a toy, you're probably ready for a mid-sized bike like this. Very easy clutch pull, so your hand's not going to get tired in traffic. Looks nice too, nice styling. It is, of course, copy of the classic American motorcycles otherwise known as Harley Davidson all the Metro cruisers seem to over the years copy Harley Davidson motorcycles and it's a good alternative for a beginner or somebody who just doesn't want to spend a whole lot of money maybe you're not sure if you if you want to be riding a motorcycle all the time and a bike like this is perfect for that if you don't plan on taking any 500 mile days Though you can do it on this bike, it's just going to be uh, not much passing power once you get above 65, 70. So at, at highway speeds, if you're going to pass somebody, you got you got to plan for that. Not to say that this is slow. It's got plenty of pep, easy bike to ride, but you're not going to have the power of a, a big V-twin, of course. I haven't checked on the MSRP on a new one of these. They still make this model. 
but uh, I'm going to take a guess that you're going to get out the door somewhere around $10,000. So you find a used one like this, barely broken in, in perfect condition, and uh, save yourself a ton of money, just like you would on any used motorcycle. feels very light and I'm gonna estimate weight somewhere around uh, probably 400 pounds maybe 425 something in that range I could be off on that but that's what it feels like so in other words it's a light easy to handle motorcycle and uh, at low speeds you know if you haven't worked on your friction zone in your head and eyes and proper use of the rear brake You could easily duck walk this bike. I, I don't recommend that. I, I prefer if you got some training, but the point is, as I said, it's it's just an easy motorcycle to ride. Very forgiving. If it starts to tip over, it's light enough to where you got to lean it over pretty far at a stop before it becomes too much to uh, straighten back up. Very light steering. And like I said, pr plenty of ground clearance on this bike. Mid-sized motorcycles like this are meant for mainly around town use. And uh, if you just get out of the MSF course, the beginner course, and you're looking for something that, you know, that's bigger than what the what you rode in that course because most of them are using 250s or sometimes even 125s or even mini bikes but if you breeze through that course you're probably ready for a mid-sized motorcycle like this and the best way to buy it and save a bunch of money to see maybe uh, you you might find out in a few weeks that uh, motorcycle riding isn't for you but if you find out that it is for you and you're enjoying it you know don't plan on taking this bike on a 500 mile trip in a day you could do it but it's you know, once you get up to highway speeds, you're going to be looking for a sixth gear that this bike doesn't have. So I recommend this as a beginner bike or for somebody maybe who's downsizing. Maybe you can't handle the Ultra anymore. It's too heavy for you. So, But you, you don't want to go to three wheels. Get a bike like this. You can find them used like this one, 7000 bucks, and, and that's the asking price. I'm, I'm betting you might even be able to make a better deal than that. It's barely broken in, so you don't have to worry about having all kinds of trouble with a used bike. So hustle on down to Wesley Chapel Hardy Davidson, tell them Motorman sent you, and take this bike out for a ride. I think you'll enjoy it. Now, if you enjoyed the tip I gave you at the beginning of this video, if you want to see so many more tips, tricks, and techniques so that you could handle any size motorcycle with the ease of a child's toy, get yourself a copy of my Ride Like a Pro Experience video, either in DVD or download. It's just 20 bucks the best money you'll ever spend on your motorcycle. If you think riding is fun now, imagine if you actually knew what the hell you were doing. That's ridelikeapro.com, just $20.